Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures them. Oh, it's off. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest, just punch him. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. To get us started Ladies with the official introductions, here this is Bruce Buffer. the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 38 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Quinton Rampage Jackson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Sugar Rashad. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, 
and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a quick position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here around. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. The right hand just misses. Nice punch by Evans. Both fighters throwing heat now. Evans gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. And now he's got the tight punch. Boy, tight punch. Certainly foul the target. It is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he's staying up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, huge. Just like that right. Right. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And for the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. Transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. 90 seconds to go in round one. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch the up kick. Notice how he leads with his hips when he goes to land strike. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Evans. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice stick with the right hand. Got the single collar tie. Big punch with the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range team. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He could never be a stationary target. But even in the feet off, you got to be ready. Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. 
Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Stuff the takedown, no problems. And there comes the separation now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he... Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Throwing that jab, no good. That's right. They continue to exchange. Yet again, they will clinch here. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. 20 seconds left to go in round two. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. And the horn sounds on round two. Hey, stop! Protect this cut. It's getting too bad now. I don't want it to be All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Switch knee lands to the body. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Single collar tie now. Just out of range with that right hand. Looping left hand misses the target. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. All right, single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Just over three minutes to go.
Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Rashad Elba. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.